hello. Again, you're going to have to excuse the fact that I look like trash, but if I cared enough, I'd do something about it. Um, I don't, so whatever. Uh, today is the 3rd of July, and my wonderful, wonderful cat Midnight has just headed to the vets for the last time. Uh, we think, but honestly, uh, she's 20, and she has had a very long life. She's the runt of the litter. She is the only one left alive in her litter. And she has had a really good long life. Um, she has been around as long as I can remember. We haven't had her since she was a kitten. And we didn't have her since I was born. We, I think we got her when I was either two or three years old. So for me, she's always just kind of been there. Though I've always had kind of like closer relationships with my other cats and they've kind of been more interested in playing and cuddling and doing stuff whereas Midi just kind of stayed out of everyone's way and minded her own business. She's still the love of my life. She's changed a lot over the last few years. Like she used to be very kind of surly and mind her own business. Very typical teenager uh, if I can say that. And the last year or so she's become a lot more friendly and she likes company and sitting with people and she purrs so much. We've taken her to the vets many times over the last three years. And every time we've kind of expected that to be it, but every time she's come back, had a little bit of medication and been fine for another almost year. And that is impressive. However, there was kind of much too wrong the last time we took her. I noticed a problem with her eye in the, I noticed like a bit of like blood in the front of it. And it's something called like hypema, hypema? I'm not sure what it's called, but basically it's where blood is like in the front chamber of your eye. And when we took her to the vets, the vet told us that there was a burst blood vessel in the back of her eye and she could actually no longer see at all. We already knew she had kidney problems and then we found out that she also has a heart murmur and really high blood pressure and I think we already thought a few years ago that she might be a bit arthritic because she always kind of cried a lot when she tried to move but when she was settled she was fine. So I don't know if keeping her alive this long was bad but she does seem to have been content un until the last few weeks and since she's gone blind it's been a lot harder for her um obviously she was trying to get used to it but she would kind of just wander in a straight line until she bumped into something walk away and then do it again and it wasn't funny but it was kind of woeful and you couldn't help but just go Oh, midi and just love a little little bit uh earlier she fell out the back door the second i put her back inside and oh boy she used to be able to sit on her pillow a lot uh she doesn't now she can't now but that was kind of her thing she'd blend into that she'd sit on that all day and the only reason she'd get off was because she's been sat on the pillow for so long that the pillow is now wonky and she can't get back on the wonky pillow because she'll just topple right off it again. It's sad looking at her because as I said she's the run to the litter, she's never been the sharpest tool in the shed and she's always been very dim like there was a time a few years ago where she went to the litter tray, she put her front paws in the litter tray and then shit on the floor and she did that before she got really really ill or anything. Because she's a pure black cat, um, hence the name Midnight, you can tell she's very old now because she's got a lot of white hairs, like a lot, and it's kind of sad looking at her, but her paws are so tiny, her paws are like that big, and my heart melts. I'm so glad that so many of my friends did get to meet Midnight because she loved the attention a lot, and I'm just sad that... <laughs> No one else will be able to, to meet her and she's just not going to be there anymore when I get home. Um, 
on one half it's a weight off my back because last year when my mum was away um she was away for a whole month in australia every time i came downstairs i was like is that is that gonna be it is midi gonna be alive when i go downstairs like what do i do if she's not like we had a system set up where i had the number of a taxi company and some money set aside so if i needed to take her to the vets i could but it was really scary having to have that feeling every morning and my mum's going away again for three weeks this time uh, to Australia um, and she goes on Sunday and I was just terrified. I was just going to have that same issue of every morning when I come downstairs I wouldn't know if she was going to be alive or not and it was heartbreaking. And don't get me wrong, I'm so grateful she's survived as long as she has. And I feel the main reason she has survived this long is because she doesn't really do anything. Um, she's just kind of got old and had a good time, but she's not really ever done anything too specifically stressful. In the old house a few years ago, so when she was maybe 16 or 17, um, she used to go out on the conservatory roof a lot from my parents' bedroom and towards the last few months she was not always able to jump back up onto the windowsill and my dad had to go out a couple of times onto the conservatory roof to pick her up and bring her back inside like she's always been a bit lame but I say that in an endearing way because I do love her so much I feel like I am really upset about this obviously but but I feel like I'm not as upset as I should be like I didn't have this reaction when my cat Charlie got taken to the vets at the beginning of 2016 I sobbed and occasionally I still do sob about how much I miss this really personable friendly lovely loving cat and don't get me wrong Midi is also like that but She's always been present in my life in a very different way to Arthur and my old cat Charlie because she never really played with me when I was a kid. She was just there like living and around and I don't know she was just part of the furniture really which sounds so lame and I just I do love her so much and I don't know if I'm gonna get be able to get used to her not being around like this like I've got a few bits of footage of Midi, obviously, that I've been putting here and there. Nostalgia is good. Nostalgia is necessary for moving on from things. Sometimes you need the closure of looking at lots of pictures and looking at lots of videos to be able to move on and know that something's for the best. This is for the best for her. She was not having a good time the last few weeks. She was going to the toilet everywhere. Um, she went to sleep in the litter tray once, which was very weird. Um, but it's best for her. And she only deserves the best. She doesn't deserve to be kept alive when she can't really do anything. She doesn't deserve to be walking into things every two seconds she doesn't deserve to have Arthur try and play with her and try and fight her when she can't see. And she doesn't deserve to have to drink as much water as she does. Like, she deserves to be at peace, which she hasn't been for a long time. And my mum and I always worry if we've kept her alive too long. But, I don't know. I love her and I'm going to miss her. Uh, I don't know how Arthur is going to respond to her not being around, um, but this is natural and it's it just happens. It's just a shame. We moved house three years ago today and, um, and we worried about the cats a lot when we moved because our cats didn't really take well to moving house. It's one of the things that made Charlie very ill and Arthur got hit by a car just after we moved. 
it seems pretty monumental that today is that day. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> Midi was 20 on the 1st of April. Um, so she was born in 1998. So she's older than me, older than quite a few of my friends as well. And it's just mad she's been around this long. Sorry for the uh, <laughs> bit of a downer video today. Yeah, fun. But it's what's going on in my life and it's important to me. And I just thought you guys might like to see a little bit about Midnight because I don't talk about her too much on my channel. Um, cause I don't know, I just don't. But yeah, anyway. I will see you tomorrow with another video. Okay. Cool, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> right, bye.